in the central United States. One of the storms is thought to have travelled over 365 kilometres, the longest continuous path of any tornado on record. Nature delivered a catastrophe on a scale which has not been seen before in this part of the United States. We are coming on the air right now to bring you the latest on the storm reports that continue to pour in from across this country. 22 tornadoes have been reported across six states so far. Tornadoes tore a path through 200 miles. And something like this, this is an unusual event for the month of December. It's typically our quietest month for uh, tornadoes, especially in Kentucky, and then it went across four states uh, for several hours. Uh, a remarkable system. Most of the victims were in Kentucky, which saw the worst twisters in the state's history. At least four touched down there and swept along for hundreds of miles, destroying everything in their paths. And it ended with this, the most extraordinary devastation in the town of Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, this will be, I believe, the deadliest tornado system to ever run through Kentucky. In all, 30 tornadoes were reported across a large swathe of the southeast. The tornadoes which tore across five states in America's Midwest and South brought death along a 200-mile path. With a tornado that will likely span at least four states was on the ground for more than 300 kilometers, this simply doesn't really happen. This is a once in a 40, 50 plus year event. And the most amazing part, I think, was the fact that for a high-end tornado, we're talking EF4, EF5 tornado, we see debris lifted to about eight, 9,000 meters. This time around, close to 15 to 16,000 meters. So this event, in all respects, was off the charts. The tornadoes had been warned of, but there was nothing that could have been done to prevent and little that could have been done to protect. They've suffered the consequences before, but not at this level. There are so many communities who've been hit by this latest extraordinary weather event. Hundreds and hundreds in several states from north to south, the length of the country. Now it's been quite a stormy week here, hasn't it, yeah. really? Uh, not just here, across other parts of Europe too. Uh, let me just show you these pictures. Huh? Absolutely stunning footage just off the coast from uh, Rome. Uh, this is, well, it looks like a massive tornado. It's actually over the sea, so it's called a water spout but an incredible, incredible footage there. Uh, lasted for about 15 minutes rumbling along the coast as well, accompanied a short while after by some severe thunderstorms and hail too. Uh, what you can't quite see in that shot, there's actually somebody in the water swimming there. Yes, I see, I Can saw. Can you see them? I saw, what yes. What were they thinking? I have no <laughs> idea. Confident not to be advised to do at home. But you can see the water spray coming up, can't you, from uh, where that uh, circulation... Could be a, a, an, ex an extreme storm chaser. Una tromba marina incredibilmente grande davanti al porto di Ostia. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in a storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace and salutations to the like scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Wadash, Barak to use Aquanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwafium, you know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Given diligence, make your calling and election sure, and of course, keep in faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Peshai Ban Yashallah, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Papi Habashim Al Shai on these deadly tornadoes that slamming through different states 
in America, Babylon the Great. You know, apocalyptic tornadoes in America, Babylon the Great. You see, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the creator of the heavens and the earth, right, is visiting the world which he made. Pursuant to the scriptures in 2nd Erdus the 9th chapter, Isaiah 29, verse 6, amongst other scriptures as well, man. We are in the last days. You see, judgment is playing out heavily, you know. So now it's time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native and some of the Indians to get it right. Because we're in the last days, man. You know, and you ain't seen nothing yet. You know? So I got this article lined up, right? Daily tornado slammed through six states. It says by Fernando CNN. It says by Fernando Alfonso III, yada, 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 right? Updated 9.56 p.m. Saturday, December 11, 2021. The year of hastening until the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See, we hasten it for that day um, for our Lord to return and deliver us, you know, from this prison, this hell that we catch on the side, man. So this article says at least 30 tornadoes were reported across six states, Arkansas, Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, Mississippi and Tennessee. At least 84 people um, are feared dead, including at least 70 in Kentucky, according to state and local officials. So Kentucky got hit the hardest, man. It says the potential for some um, severe weather um, continues over the weekend as the system moves east. Right. It says track the path storms here. Yada, yada. So it says. Uh, yeah, Biden pledges federal support in aftermath of deadly storms. Right. It says. Uh, all right. So, this, yeah, I remember this is CNN. I low key want to get it. Not even low key. I want to get it. RT right but so just yesterday it says quad states only four states right quad state tornado deaths and damage live updates in the Washington Post so it only hit four states yesterday but now it's you know six states you know and it is it's daily tornadoes you know slammed through different states man it's then it's live updates and now it's three minutes ago they posted that man the one I just read an hour ago it says more than 80 fear dead after tornado hit central and southern um United States so how about Shemal Shai is visiting this world, man? I want to go to RT right quick, though, right? RT. Let's see if they got something on it. Let me go. Let me go to the website, right? Salaki Akim. Give me one second, right? <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Wow. Yep. Let's click this one right here through the spirit. So this is updated three minutes ago. You know, 100 plus feared killed in the worst tornado outbreak in United States history. You see that? It says a multi-state series of tornadoes that laid waste to the Midwestern United States, Babylon the Great, possibly killing over 100 people. So I just read the first article, CNN, 784 people, 70 Kentucky, so to speak. But now this is, you know, an RT news, you know, is just, just now updated around the same time. And it's in over 100 people, man. Right. So that's major judgment playing out. Right, and the brothers, you know, in the truth, you know, in, in sincerity, you know, that's um in those different states, you know, our prayers is up for those brothers, man, and their families, you know, their wives, their children. May the Lord have mercy upon them, brothers, man. You know, what I'm saying, and um, Lord willing, they're safe. But the rest of you wicked ass jakes out there, man, tell with y'all, man, you heathens, tell with y'all. You know, what I'm saying that's major judgment playing out. Right, so it says a multi-state series of tornadoes that laid waste. To the Midwestern United States, possibly killing over 100 people, maybe one of the worst in the nation's history. President Joe Biden has said, declaring a disaster emergency. Right. So, hey, <clears throat> they needed uh, uh, an event. This may be um, part of that because, you know, there's other events they're getting ready to release out of too. But this could be a part of that, man. We got to keep our eyes peeled. You know, we can't uh, be ignorant of any uh, uh, matter, whether it's small or great. Pursuant to scripture in the book of Sirach. You see that? So, uh, made a tornado like this, you know, breaking United States history. Like they said it's something you haven't seen in like 40, 50 years, man. You know, a tornado like this and going across six states is deadly, you know, killing mad people, destroying stuff, you know? So, this may be that event where they, that they need it. Oh, hey, they may release some other events as well. So, we know that, um, where's Salak, you let me just read on down right quick. I don't want to lose my train of thought. Let's read on down right quick. It says the president officially declared a federal disaster emergency in Kentucky on Saturday afternoon after pledging the government's full support to the devastated communities earlier in the day. 
Biden suggested the wrath of nature was likely to be one of the largest tornado outbreaks in our history. It's not the wrath of just nature. It's the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's the wrath of the Father, man. You see? The Lord is visiting the world with Shemaiah. Look at that precept, man. Right? I quoted it a couple times. Let's get it. All right? And it's not something that's going to be too long. Straight to the point through the Spirit. And I pray this will be uplifting and exhorting to Akin Wakwafim out there, man. You know? Because we understand what this means. You know, we're getting closer and closer, man. You know, we have the understanding of these precepts. We know that these things must come to pass. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, man. So Yahweh Bashim Shai is visiting the world which he made. And how does he visit the world which he made? Precept Isaiah 29 verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. That's how the Lord visited the world which he made. You know, natural disasters, um, earthquakes, you know, um, tsunamis. You see that? Tornadoes, which is a whirlwind, man. That's why I started off with Nahum. Let's go back to it right quick. Nahum 1 and verse 3, right? Let's start at verse 1. It says, The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the um, Elko um, Shite, right? It says, The Elko Shite, right? It says, The Heavenly Father is jealous, right? And the Lord revengeth, the Lord revengeth, and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and reserve wrath for his enemies. See how that's the, in the article they try to say wrath. Of nature. Notice the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for his enemies, man. Those that hate him. If you of this world, you hate the Father. You see that? Verse 3 The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord have his way in the world when he controls the whirlwinds, man. Whether Esau got his harp machine set up, the Lord put the spirit upon him to do that stuff, man. He controls his, his spirits all throughout these different, um, um, the flame of fire. You know, it's spirits in these tornadoes. You know, an angel that's controlling that, man. How many people die and all of that? That's in the book of um, Sirach, I believe it's 39, 28. The spirits that's created for vengeance. I may get that next. It says, the Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds of the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry and drieth up all the rivers. Bashan languisheth and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languisheth. So the Lord, he rebukes the sea. He controls all of that, man. You see that? He controls uh, uh, when different storms and natural disasters take place upon this earth. It's all orchestrated by the Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So Book of Sirach 39, and we'll get 28 right quick, right? There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of, of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So all these angels, the spirits created for vengeance, they're going to piece the wrath of the Father. Right? So that's why, you know, when it said the wrath of nature, that's the wrath of the Father, man. In the article I just read. Right? It says fire and hell. And it's mentioned hell storms is hitting too. Right? Fire and hell and famine and death, all these created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when he it is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word, man. So when that time come and the Lord send them, you know, they're gonna get busy, man. You see that? They gonna get busy. So from there, let's see, I wanna go back to some more articles. I'm not gonna read this whole article, right? Because the only thing I did was look up, you know, tornado. And then uh, all these different articles popping up. Deadly tornado slams through six states. You know, quad state tornado deaths, homes, businesses, and church among buildings destroyed by tornado in Mayfield, Kentucky. More than 80 feet, 80 um, feared dead. And I just read the article when it said over 100 now, right? It says, uh, you have two Amazon workers confirmed dead after a tornado hit Illinois facility. Right, so they hit an uh, Amazon facility. It says, uh, Jeff Bezos responds to Edwardsville Amazon warehouse deaths during tornado. Right, six people killed in the noise. You know, so I just read the scriptures, man. Spirit is credit for vengeance. You know, <clears throat> the Lord is judging this place, man. You see that? 
So we got to remain on our watch, continue enduring, and keeping faith in Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man. Because it can be, it's, things are going to get worse. This, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. You see that? You ain't seen nothing yet. Let's go back to Second Elders, right? And like I said, it's not meant to be a long lesson, straight to the point, man. Right? These things are prophesied to happen. Second Elders 9, I'm at verse 3 now. <clears throat> it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, and we see upwards of the burner around the world, um, anti protest, no, no, anti lockdown protests going on, earthquakes around the world, there's tornadoes, you know, uh, pestilences, famines. You see, I go on and on. <clears throat> it says, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So the Father declared all it is from the beginning, man. This is moving. You know, he's controlling everything that happens on this earth. The scripture say how he, he, how he declared the end from the beginning. It says, For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and, and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so the times also of the highest having plain beginnings, and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs, right? So the end is manifest as clear as day of the time that we in. We're in the last days, man. So we gotta be circumspect on our watch. You know, um, those tornadoes hit like a lot of states, <clears throat> but we know it's gonna get worse. More, more natural disasters are gonna come, you know, um, and stuff gonna start hitting in major cities, you know. So we got to continue praying, fasting, and enduring, and keeping faith in our and um the heavenly Father and our power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You see that? <clears throat> so yeah, this one was updated twenty two minutes ago. That's the one I read earlier. Let's see. Yeah, man, this is, a, this is you see, deadly tornado outbreak. They compared it to a nineteen twenty five storm. So they haven't seen something like this in you know almost hundred years, right? Because it's twenty twenty um um one. And he compared it to when something happened in 1925. So 90-something years, man. You know? They haven't seen nothing like this. So more events can be taking place in America, Babylon, and Great. You know, we got to continue enduring. And I'm end off with this scripture. And I pray it could be a faith builder to the hopeful elect. Second Elders 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. So all the brothers out there in those different states that got hit by the tornado... You know, and in their families, you know, you got sisters out there that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that may be single, you know, maybe they got a, you know, a, a child, whatever the case may be, maybe a widow, you know, and they believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they got faith, you know, and they showing their faith by their works, by keeping the commands to the best of their ability, to Lord and deliver them, man. You're going to be saved. You're going to be good. We got nothing to worry about, man. If all these things are coming upon this earth. As a matter of fact, I can't end it yet. You see how the spirit rolls? I just thought of Psalms 91, man, which is a classic preset. Let's read it right quick. Psalm 91 and verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall, ab shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Protection. You know, you're going to abide under the shadow of the Almighty, man. That Lord going to have angels that can't run about you because you dwell in the secret place, which is this truth. This is God's with his ministry. So, brothers and sisters, in this truth that's sincere, the Lord going to protect you, man. You know? It says, I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress and my power and him will I trust. So, we got to trust in the Father. You know? Let's, let's read on down, right? It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and the snare is a trap. The fowler is a, someone who catches um, fowls of the air. They set up traps to catch um, birds, you know? So he's going to deliver from these different traps that set up by Esau Edom, right? And from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and on his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, no for the destruction that waste of our noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. I read the first scripture, I read the name of the first chapter. The Lord said, What? He will not at all acquit the wicked. Right? So you're going to see the reward of the wicked, man. So those people that are getting put to death, judged, or because it's tornado, they're wicked. Point blank. You know, they're sinners. And they refuse to repent if they're jakes. Right? Because the door of repentance is still open right now. Only with thine eyes shall behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. But he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. You see that? So we got nothing to fear, man. You know, we got to continue enduring 
and keeping the commands to the best of our ability because we know we're not perfect. You know, we know we're sinners as well. You know, we know we fall short and go off. You know, but the difference between us and these wicked jakes is that we're trying to please Yahweh Bashi Shai. They're not trying at all. You see that? They're letting their iniquity lift up themselves, man. You know, we're not going to let our sins weigh us down as it is written. So back to 2nd verse 9 chapter, let's end up with this one. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith or by ye I believe shall be preserved from the said perils, perils, perilous, dangerous, dangers, right? And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So the elect were sanctified from the beginning. You see? So um, all these natural disasters, tornadoes, tsunamis may come, you know, uh, volcanic eruptions, you see earthquakes, you know, all type of stuff, man. You know, the Lord will protect these elect from it, right? But this is like a news update, you know, apocalyptic tornadoes in Babylon are great. You know, deadly storms and deadly tornadoes going across different states, man, killing over hundreds of people, knocking down churches and businesses, you know, and Amazon facilities. So we got to remain on our watch, man. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind. You see that he controls those different storms. So I'm ending right there and I praise that Father through the Spirit. And Pavi Habashim Al Shai. I want to give call Lion Bla Yahweh Ba Sham Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Khakudash. Double honest to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone. Peace and salutation to Lex Scott abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that I'm gonna say Shalom. Wa Baba Ba. Shalom.